actor. Roll off. Getting. We can do way better. You start by introducing yourself, Squid. Sure. I'm Eric Towner. I'm one of the executive producers on Robot Chicken. Hello. I'm John Harvey the Fourth. I'm one of the executive producers of Robot Chicken. Huh. You too. Huh? Yep. We're similar. Do you want me to hold this for you? Yeah. Like right there. <laughs> so obviously, obviously the show is very popular, or else you guys wouldn't be on. What right. season is this right now? Oh, I don't know. I lose track. Um, We're starting it's been season. Eight seasons. Yeah, yeah. starting season nine uh, towards the end of the year. And you guys been nominated. You guys have won many awards. Mm-hmm. How does it feel for you guys? It's always exciting. I think it's it's super cool to be nominated for an Emmy or really anything. And Annie will take whatever we can get consolation prize any anything yeah we it's exciting because we're, we're also fans of the show so being able to make it make more episodes it's uh, it's a fun thing to do it's a little surreal I think there was a pinch me moment where it's like you know what I would be kind of doing this on my my own time anyway but yeah to make a living playing with toys and yeah. hanging out with your friends is pretty cool Technically, we don't play with them. You know, we animate them and things like that. But yeah. Oh, is that? What <laughs> I mean, I wish I was just sitting at my desk, moving it around and uh, taking pictures. Yeah, it's a Wait, lot of work. It's a lot of hard work. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Something like that. You know, a lot of people don't know about the difficulties you guys have in doing stop motion, all that. How how challenging is it for people who don't know much about the whole concept behind it? We should make it sound really hard so no one else does it. Yeah. Good. Good thinking. It's really hard. No, it's actually pretty hard. You don't want to do it. (laughs) Nobody should do it. Yeah, I mean, anyone can pick up a camera and start moving things around, and we encourage it because it's a lot of fun and you should do it. But it's it's a challenge when you have, you know, all the moving parts that a show like Robot Chicken has, all the artists in every department that you have to have in sync to make the show. So it's it's not easy. It's not for the weak. Yeah, and it takes a lot of patience. I mean, the animators are are getting between 8 and 10 seconds of animation an entire day of work. So it, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of persistence constantly fighting gravity, things like that. But at the end, it turns out really cool. It's a lot of fun. So how long would it take you to make one episode? It's like three, um, three or four years. <laughs> so, no. uh, well, we shoot them all together. So I guess one episode, I mean, we'd, it'd maybe be two weeks on the stages, but all said and done in a season, it's probably about 13 months to do a 20, season. 20 yeah. episodes. 20 episodes, about 13 months. What is uh, the best accolade you guys have had feeling for yourselves doing this show? I'd say right now. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the pinnacle. This is right at the top. (laughs) That's it? That's it, yeah. That's That's definitely it. So, what are some things you guys want? Like, is there there anything you guys wanted to do to change the show a bit? Because, I mean, it's it's not repetitive, but it's funnier. You guys change it up. Mm -hmm. Intros change. But what's something you guys feel like you always want to change? A new season or every few seasons? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, like getting back just to the writing and just to the silliness of the show, uh, you know, season six, seven and eight, it's really less about how good it can look and just more focusing on how funny it can be. So really just putting the focus on the writing and the animation, like never being more than it needs to be to tell the joke. So really just getting the focus back on, hey, the show is ridiculous and it's supposed to kind of look like you could maybe make it in your basement if you spend enough time on it. You know, my answer was very similar. It's I think it's just making it more simple, like taking everything from the sets to the characters, even the stories, and just kind of simplify it, make it still funny, but just a little bit more simple, less, I don't know, crazy for the sake of crazy. Simple is my keyword there. Simple. Kiss. Keep simple it kiss. simple, stupid. Yep. Yeah. Stupid buddy. No. Wait, we're talking about the company here. That's not oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Stupid buddy. <laughs> stupid buddy. One of my, I know a lot of people love it, and I'm sure you guys always love it, are your, your specials, your crossover specials. Are there any... I, I've, I've been able to ask Seth, I've been able to ask a few of you guys, what's one you now want to do if you have done a couple now? Well, we're, we're going to be doing one that I think is kind of a little bit of a dream boat coming into the dock. It's a, coming into the dock. It's a Walking Dead special, so we're going to be doing that to kick off Season 9, which is going to be really exciting. Is that what you'd want to do? Yeah, I, you'd want to do oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think uh, I'm ready for the NFL special. One full episode, <laughs> just NFL-based. We'd lose every fan, but it'd be fun to do. Right? Well, I'm being honest Yeah, here. mostly just focusing on Packers and yeah. Broncos players. Just yeah. that. For the 5% of people that would care. Yeah. It's really alienate. <laughs> Let's really alienate our op- our audience by doing a the, sports we'll special. Yeah, sports special. <laughs> okay, okay. 
you want to take over? Oh, oh yeah. Is it? You know, Sorry, yeah, I kind of made it. So yeah, you did pretty good. Let's take some breaks. So, what are some things you like to say to people who would like to get into? I, I know there's a um, super buddy uh, training you guys have for like people that are getting interested. But what would you suggest for them who want to get into the business? Um, yeah, I guess I would say just, um, you know, picking up a camera and just practicing. I think if you just practice, even with like a cell phone camera, something simple and just doing it, I think is that's the best way to get started. Yeah, I think it really is like the best experience you can get is just making stuff. So always encourage anybody that wants to be an animator or a cinematographer or a writer, just make stuff and be bold and be brave and put it out there. Get feedback, be willing to listen to feedback and you can always improve. So I think, I think just, yeah, going at it and practicing like crazy. So for my last question, what are your guys' biggest aspirations? Biggest aspirations? Bigger than being an EP on Robot Chicken? So inspiration. Oh, inspirations. Oh. In, by inspiration, better than, uh, let's see, what are your inspirations? Like what, yeah, Tanner, what moves you? Oh, I was gonna say, you move me, you're so inspiring to me. Oh, wow. I was hoping you would say the same to me, about me. <laughs> oh, now it's awkward. I think that's not gonna happen, so on an island here yeah wait was that your real answer no, no it wasn't that was a made-up answer so is it steven spielberg <laughs> <laughs> stevie stevie george all my friends yeah no i think i think just growing up and enjoying animation and enjoying stop motion like the you know the the harry house and the ardman stuff like i loved all of that stuff growing up and it you know the storytelling is always a, a big you know inspiring factor is just making stuff and telling stories yeah i would say i mean same thing i think uh, stop motion inspires me so everything that's being made right now is really exciting there's a, a lot of companies doing it and it's just really fun that stop motion is so relevant right now for five percent of the population <laughs> in the animation world 